Tonight, Governor Gina Raimondo taking action on a controversial penalty about overdue car inspections. The move comes following a request by House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. And now we're learning more about this move that could save drivers hundreds of dollars. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado has the details now live from the mobile newsroom. Steph? This issue garnered a lot of controversy when the DMV announced come January they would start charging a fee to reinstate your registration if you were late in getting your car inspected. Now the governor has told the DMV to hold off. Pump the brakes, hold off, don't do it. Governor Gina Raimondo telling the DMV not to enforce a $250 reinstatement fee for folks who are late in getting their cars inspected. It does put a burden on people. It abs That's a lot of money. $250 bucks is a lot of money. She made the call after House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello called on her to put a stop to it. Because these are regular folks that tend to have older cars that have to spend a lot of money to get them inspected. And if they just don't get it done in time, Another $250 can be substantial and sometimes devastating. It was actually a 2009 law that allowed the DMV to charge a person $250 to reinstate their registration after getting it suspended for a DUI, lack of insurance, or lack of inspection. But the DMV never collected the fees for the late inspection people because they say the old computer system didn't allow them to track expiration dates and send notices effectively. With a brand new computer system, System now in place, they were going to start collecting the fees for the first time on January 1st. How much of the speaker's call for you to do this influence your decision to say let's hold off? Uh, significantly, because you know they were the ones that passed it several years ago. Again, before I was in office, and um, and they want a chance to fix it, and I support this. Now, of course, you can still get a ticket if you get pulled over and have an expired inspection sticker. Now, this $250 fine is still law, so we'll tell you what happens next. Coming up new at 6. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Rhode Islanders with expired inspection uh, stickers on their cars won't have to worry about a DMV fee that would have cost them hundreds of dollars, at least for now. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live from the mobile newsroom with what led to the decision to put it on hold and what happens next. Steph? Well, the $250 fine has actually been lost since 2009, but it's never been enforced by the DMV. They were going to start in January, but that is on hold for now until lawmakers take up the issue. I, I did. House Speaker Nick Mattiello says he wants lawmakers to scrap a controversial fee from a 2009 law that would charge people $250 to reinstate their registration if they're late getting a car inspection. These are regular folks that tend to have older cars that have to spend a lot of money to get them inspected and if they just don't get it done in time, another $250 can be substantial and sometimes devastating. The DMV has never collected the fine despite it being passed eight years ago because of their outdated computer system that made it tough to track expiring stickers. Now that they have a new computer system, they were going to start in January. But after concerns from the community and Speaker Mattiello, the governor has now directed the DMV to halt the plan. I don't know why the legislature did it in the first place, but it does put a burden on people. It abs That's a lot of money. 250 bucks is a lot of money. For an idea of how many Rhode Islanders this affects, the DMV says they are currently sending out 7,000 notices a month for late inspections. And so the legislature will take up this issue in their session next year. Now, if this was implemented, the fee was expected to raise $2.5 million. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.